What's up guys, Danksy here. Today we're gonna show you the new Vampire Hunter epic weapon variant. We're gonna show you it on the freaking vapor. It's super cool. Not gonna lie, this thing is very cool. Very, very cool. I'm gonna show you how much it costs, what it looks like, and also this comes with a really cool face mask, like a bloody uh, face mask thing. I'll show you what that looks like too. We're gonna be reviewing it in this video. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so this weapon variant um, just got in the shop for the Xbox users like me, and it's been in the PlayStation shop for the past week. And so since it's on Xbox, I'm doing a review of it right now. Um, so right now you can get it um, in the Xbox store. It costs a thousand COD points, which is a lot. That's ten dollars. But if you watch my video on how to get free COD points, you're already halfway there. It gives you five hundred. So you just need to spend five dollars. So it's technically five dollars. But anyway, yeah, it's really cool. So this um, bundle that you get in the shop, like I said, it costs a thousand COD points and it comes with the epic weapon variant, which is the main point of this thing. It comes with that. It comes with a calling card, a tag or whatever you want to call it, um, which is like an emblem kind of thing. And then it also comes with a face paint. And these are both really good. I don't really think anyone cares about the calling card or the emblem, but the face mask is actually really cool. A lot of the um, bundles that you get right now come with a face mask or outfit or something that doesn't really look cool. But in my opinion, this looks really awesome. And that's one of the reasons I decided to buy it. So this is definitely a good deal in my opinion. Since other things uh, cost up to like $20. And they might come with the outfit. But most of them are pretty ugly. And I think this looks really dope. So yeah. So before I get into the actual gun. First I'm going to show you what the calling cards look like. I mean you can't really showcase them. Because you already know what they look like. But um, I'll just show you what they look like right here. Here's a screenshot of them. Uh, to be honest. No one really cares about these like if you care about this you're really weird because like there's no point to them really like I don't know it just doesn't look cool um they just kind of put it in there for filler but they don't they, it does come with that so if you like that you know you can get that um so that's what it looks like now we're gonna go to the face paint I'm gonna show you what it looks like on every single specialist so there's like what nine specialists so it's gonna take a little while but um I'll try to speed it up so yeah that's what it looks like for every single specialist some of them look better than others like the serif looks really weird in my opinion like it cuts it off and like it just looks weird but other ones look really cool i like recon i think that looks dope ruin looks pretty dope and i use ruin a lot for this video but like you can kind of choose you know what everything looks good it doesn't change depending on what skin you have some camos change like their color for a different skin to match it but this just always stays the same so that's a good thing to know when you're buying this it doesn't change like green or anything cool like that it does stay the same which is fine like i really like it so yeah all right, so right now I'm gonna show you the actual gun and what it changes. So like when you get kills, it will actually change how it looks like. Uh, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed with this. Uh, I saw this on PlayStation and I knew I was gonna buy it just because it was really dope and it was kind of in my, uh, I don't know, it just seemed like it was a good deal and I knew I was gonna make a video on it. But I didn't really look at it first and to be honest, I really thought that it would change more and it doesn't really change that much. So if you look at it, it shows you once you get it, um, you can look at the settings or like you can look at the camo and it'll show you what it does at each kill and stuff so like start of the game it looks like you know what you expect it's basic then you get one kill and like it'll start filling up with like blood or sorry you get five kills and it'll start like filling up with blood and the like skull eyes will like light up and it's pretty cool i wish it was like brighter or something because to be honest it's not like super noticeable and then after that you get 10 kills and then it'll like add this like white it's honestly a really cool design it's just it's almost subtle like i wish they just would have made it brighter or changed colors or i don't know something because it's kind of really subtle and i wish it did more but that's really it so you get one kill or sorry start of the game and then five kills and then 10 kills and it doesn't change after that it doesn't reset or anything like that so it's pretty basic not much to it um i'm kind of disappointed but you know it's still really nice i'm still really glad i got this and yeah so once again, I'm going to show you what it looks like in game. Um, to be honest, the iron sight changed and I forgot to show you that. Uh, the iron sight does change and you probably didn't notice it in the gameplay before, but the iron sight changes. Okay, it changes and it's honestly really cool. I like this a lot. I hate the freaking original default iron sight for the vapor. It's absolutely doo doo. And this is like a lot cooler. It's still not the best, but it's, it is really cool and I do like it. So it does change. Um, so yeah, here's what it looks like at five kills. Um, I'll inspect it. It's very, very subtle, which kind of sucks. They need to make it like really bright, but it is really cool still. And I like the skull right by the iron sights. That's really cool. Anyway, and then this is what it looks like at 10 kills. Again, very subtle, 
still nice i'm so glad i got this because this is just going to be a nice thing to add to your arsenal i'd recommend getting this to be honest it's really worth it um so yeah So that is pretty much it. There's really not a lot to show for this one. I know if you watch my masked one, my masked uh, reactive camo, there's a lot more. I mean, it was just a longer video just because there's kind of more to the camo. But uh, there's really not much to it. So yeah, this is kind of a shorter video. But right now we're going to go into the epic montage. So be sure to watch it if you um, if you want to get hype. This is pretty hype. So uh, yeah, let's, let's get into it. Also, I forgot to mention the bayonet changes when you, uh, when you put it on. But you'll see it in the montage. Okay, let's go.